Scientists have discovered a creature that has essentially solved death. The starlit sea anemone does not age as we do. It does not deteriorate. It does not die from old age. When injured, it does not just heal. It rebuilds itself, perfectly maintaining its exact proportions no matter how much tissue it loses. This tiny marine animal holds genetic secrets that trace back 600 million years long before dinosaurs walked the earth. Two ancient genes called nanos and peewee work alongside complex molecular networks to control an army of stem cells that constantly replace every damaged part. The question is not whether this could help humans live longer, it's whether we're ready for what that means. The answers lie hidden in laboratories where researchers study specimens that appear deceptively ordinary. In marine biology laboratories around the world Researchers routinely handle specimens that measure just a few inches across their translucent bodies, swaying gently in shallow brackish waters where rivers meet the ocean. The starlit sea anemone's tentacles move with the current like a miniature underwater flower, nothing about its appearance suggesting the biological revolution it represents. Yet this unremarkable creature possesses cellular machinery that has operated continuously for over 600 million years long before the first vertebrates evolved spines or complex organs developed. Most living things follow predictable patterns of growth, maturity, decline and death. Humans experience this cycle over decades watching our cells accumulate damage and lose their ability to repair themselves effectively. Our stem cells become exhausted, our tissues lose elasticity, and our organs gradually fail despite medical intervention. The starlit sea anemone operates under completely different rules. Its cellular repair systems function with a precision that surpasses anything modern surgery can achieve rebuilding entire sections of its body while maintaining exact proportional relationships between all its parts. Research teams have traced the anemone's regenerative capabilities back through evolutionary history, discovering connections to the very earliest multicellular organisms. The biological pathways that control its immortality existed before complex life forms emerged, suggesting that endless cellular renewal represents an ancient solution rather than a recent evolutionary innovation. This challenges fundamental assumptions about aging being an inevitable consequence of multicellular complexity. Laboratory experiments demonstrate the anemone's remarkable resilience under conditions that would prove fatal to most animals. Researchers can cut these creatures into fragments and each piece will regenerate into a complete fully functional organism. The regenerated animals retain their original behavioral patterns and physiological capabilities, suggesting that the regenerative process preserves not just physical structure, but also functional integrity. Even more striking is how this regenerative toolkit has remained essentially unchanged across hundreds of millions of years of evolution, indicating that these mechanisms represent optimal biological solutions. The anemone functions as a living archive of ancient biological strategies that predate the evolutionary compromises that led to aging in more complex organisms. Unlike evolutionary dead ends that disappeared from the fossil record, these creatures successfully maintained their immortality mechanisms while the rest of life developed alternative survival strategies. Their continued existence provides researchers with direct access to biological processes that operated key life on Earth was fundamentally different. The key to understanding this immortality lies not in the creature's outward simplicity, but in the molecular machinery operating within its cells. Two molecular regulators control this ancient machinery with precision that has remained unchanged since multicellular life first emerged from primordial seas. The nanos and peewee genes evolved over 600 million years ago, establishing regulatory frameworks that governed cellular behavior long before vertebrates developed complex organ systems. These genetic controllers predate the uh, evolutionary split between simple cnidarians and more complex bilateral animals, representing biological programming. Human stem cells face inevitable decline as organisms age, gradually losing their capacity to divide and repair damaged tissues effectively. This 
Cellular exhaustion drives the aging process that culminates in organ failure and death. The anemone stem cells operate under entirely different molecular rules. Through Nano's gene regulation, specific cell populations maintain their regenerative potential, indefinitely never experiencing the functional deterioration that characterizes human cellular aging. The Nano's protein acts as a cellular identifier marking and preserving stem cell populations throughout the organism's potentially unlimited lifespan. Research teams using gene editing techniques have demonstrated the critical importance of Nano's function in maintaining regenerative abilities. When researchers disrupt Nano's activity in laboratory anemones as part of broader aging studies, the creatures immediately lose their regenerative capabilities and begin showing signs of cellular aging similar to other animals. This suggests that Nano's regulation represents a key difference GIA immortal V mortal cellular behavior, though scientists continue investigating the complete network of factors involved. The Pee gene functions as Nanos' molecular partner, creating a defensive system that protects stem cells from accumulating damage that would normally compromise their regenerative capacity. Pee proteins work with small RNA molecules to silence harmful genetic elements and maintain cellular integrity across extended time periods. Advanced sequencing techniques reveal that NH and gay AH hygienes end with the TLP communication networks spanning the entire organism, allowing distant cell populations to coordinate their activities during tissue repair and maintenance. The efficiency of this ancient system surpasses modern biological engineering. The same molecular pathways that control reproductive processes also manage ongoing tissue maintenance, creating an integrated approach to cellular renewal that eliminates the trade-offs between reproduction and longevity seen in most animals. This dual functionality explains how the anemone can simultaneously maintain reproductive capacity and cellular youth indefinitely. These regulatory systems continue operating with the same precision they possessed. Their preservation across vast evolutionary time suggests that understanding immortality mechanisms may be more achievable than previously thought. Current research focuses on how these ancient genetic programs might inform experimental therapeutic approaches. Though translating these discoveries into practical applications remains an ongoing scientific challenge. What happens when this molecular machinery springs into action reveals even more remarkable capabilities. The moment tissue damage occurs in a starlit sea anemone, cellular events unfold that operate on principles completely foreign to human wound healing. Human bodies respond to injury by forming scar tissue essentially patching holes with inferior replacement material that never fully restores original function. The anemone activates molecular cascades that treat injury, localized damage, but as a signal for comprehensive biological reorganization. Within hours of tissue loss cells throughout the entire organism begin receiving chemical instructions to modify their behavior and contribute resources toward perfect reconstruction. Metalloproteases surge through the anemone's body following injury, systematically dismantling and rebuilding the extracellular matrix that provides structural support and determines body shape. These protein cutting enzymes work with surgical precision, removing damaged scaffolding while simultaneously laying new foundations for regenerated tissue. The process resembles controlled demolition followed by architectural reconstruction, with each step carefully choreographed to maintain structural integrity during the rebuilding phase. Advanced spatial transcriptomics technology has revealed something remarkable about this regenerative response. Tissues located far from injury sites begin altering their gene expression patterns within hours, indicating that the entire organism participates in regeneration regardless of proximity to damage. Cells in the anemones oral disc respond to tentacle injuries by adjusting their metabolic output. Foot tissue modifies its adhesion properties when the body column suffers damage. This creates a regenerative symphony where every cellular section contributes to healing elsewhere in the body.
During regeneration, the anemone maintains perfect geometric proportions, regardless of how much tissue was lost. Researchers have documented the creature's ability to rebuild substantial portions of its body mass and watched as it reconstructs itself with mathematical accuracy, calculating exact size relationships between different body regions. This biological computation operates without BTK central processing unit, no suggesting that proportional information is somehow distributed throughout the organism's cellular network. The Nano's peewee genetic network mobilizes pluripotent stem cells from reserves located throughout the anemone's body during regenerative episodes. These cellular reserves remain accessible throughout the creature's potentially infinite lifespan, unlike human pluripotent cells that become restricted early in development. Activation signals travel through intercellular communication pathways, recruiting stem cells from distant locations to participate in local tissue reconstruction. Regenerated structures integrate flawlessly with existing tissues, maintaining perfect functional continuity between old and new cells. The anemone's regenerative machinery operates with engineering precision that ensures seamless biological integration. Rather than targeting specific damage areas, the anemone's approach demonstrates how biological repair can function as a coordinated whole organism response that restores perfect form and function. The remarkable discovery is that these same biological systems that orchestrate such perfect regeneration Humans carry similar cellular pathways within their own biology, though these systems function under different regulatory constraints than those found in anemones. MEK, Char, E, R, K, signaling cascades, WNT, communication networks, and dozens of other fundamental cellular messaging systems operate continuously in anemones while functioning only sporadically in human tissues. These pathways I, Dian Cho, shared evolutionary inheritance, though their regulation and function differ significantly, suggesting that regenerative mechanisms were not entirely lost during human evolution, but became subject to different biological controls over millions of years. Human aging results from these pathways becoming increasingly dysfunctional over time. The same MEK, Char, ERK signals that coordinate regeneration in anemones gradually lose their effectiveness in human cells leading to impaired wound healing and cellular maintenance failures. QNT signaling, which maintains stem cell populations in Orchinidarians becomes erratic in mammals, contributing to stem cell exhaustion. The pathways remain physically present, but operate with declining efficiency, creating the cascading failures we recognize as aging and age-related disease. Laboratory researchers have identified specific molecular intervention points within these pathways that could potentially enhance their regenerative functions. Small molecule inhibitors can temporarily reactivate the WNT uh, signaling in mammalian cells, enhancing their ability to divide and repair damaged tissues. Mike pathway modulators have shown promise in restoring cellular behavior to aged stem cell populations in laboratory conditions, though these effects remain limited to individual cell types rather than whole organisms. Neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's involve stem cell exhaustion in brain tissues where regenerative capacity becomes critically compromised. The anemone's approach to continuous cellular renewal offers potential research directions for addressing these conditions, though current studies remain largely experimental. Brain organoid studies demonstrate that manipulating these signaling pathways can enhance neuronal regeneration under controlled laboratory conditions. The Peewee regulatory system presents particularly interesting research targets. While this network operates in human reproductive cells, it remains largely inactive in other tissues throughout the body. Anemones maintain active peewee signaling in all their cells, contributing to their regenerative abilities. Experimental studies examining the peewee pathway activation in mammalian cells have produced enhanced resistance to cellular damage and improved regenerative capacity in laboratory settings. Understanding how anemones coordinate these pathways across their entire body provides research frameworks for developing regenerative medicine approaches. The integration of multiple regenerative pathways in a single organism demonstrates how comprehensive cellular renewal might theoretically be achieved in complex biological systems. 
However, translating these discoveries from simple marine organisms to complex human biology represents a formidable scientific challenge that extends well beyond current laboratory capabilities. Current research efforts focus on identifying which specific molecular mechanisms might eventually be adapted for human therapeutic applications. While the starlet sea anemone has revealed the molecular secrets of biological immortality, translating these discoveries into human therapies presents challenges that extend far beyond the laboratory. The complexity of human biology with its intricate organ systems and regulatory networks, regenerative strategies, technically daunting and potentially dangerous. Ethical considerations um, surrounding life extension therapies raise profound questions and the potential for creating unprecedented disparities such technologies could fundamentally alter social structures, economic systems, and intergenerational relationships in ways that society remains unprepared to address. Current regenerative medicine approaches show promise in specific applications like cartilage repair and hematopoietic transplants, but achieving the comprehensive regenerative capacity of Sinidarians remains a distant goal.